I'm back again, barefaced and beautiful. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna do a Mod Podge of ColourPop related things. So I couldn't help but notice their site went 30% off, which is a really good deal. Normally, I feel like their site's like 20, 25% off when they do a sale. 30% off, it's a bomb deal. If there's been some ColourPop collections that you've waited on or you need a refresh or just trying new ColourPop products, I think now is a good time to get what you want or what you've been wanting. I'm, I don't know. I don't need anything, but that's why we're doing the ColourPop video. I also did just receive the We've Got a Crush on You. Is that what this is called? No, it's the Cherry Crush Collection in PR. Listen, ColourPop has been coming out with a bunch of little collections lately, and I have not been doing a good job covering them. So I figured since this Cherry Collection launched today, this is the products we'll focus on applying. And then we will finish off by just taking a gander on the website together. I have no intentions of purchasing anything but I just want to take a look like 30% off is a really good deal let's get into it first of all I'm about to get very sweaty my upper lip is about to be raining uh, my parents are getting a new AC unit installed in our house today so there's no AC today so it's like really hot and stuffy in this room also why my hair is misbehaving but we're gonna ignore that we're gonna pin it back with these cute hair clips that they sent in the PR package I don't know if you can get this on the website we'll take a look later but I wore my cherry earrings for the occasion too how cute are these my goodness I did not shave my armpits <laughs> don't look mmm this is a bit much probably but it's fine. I just want that to keep out of my face. I'm going to start off by doing some complexion, give you some of my recommendations. If you're not interested in kind of their regular line and you only want to see the cherry collection, please follow along with the timestamps. But let's just do complexion together. 30% off. I want to tell you what I like. So one of the things that I've been using a lot from ColourPop lately that has been my favorite is the 4th Ray Face Milk. Particularly, I'm using the one in oat, but it doesn't matter. Whatever you desire, I love them. I think they're the perfect hydrating base. Really quickly though, did not put on my sunscreen, shame on me. I'm gonna use the Kate Somerville Daily Deflector Mineral Sunscreen. I'm not crazy about this one. I think it leaves like too much of a cast. I just, I don't like it. Not a big fan of that, but I mean, someone tells me it's really good in protecting my skin, so I still use it anyways. And Kate Somerville is a great brand. This does not break me out, so I mean that's reason enough for me to continue to use it. Okay, sunscreen is on. I, I was a good girl. I did a good thing. So I really like their face milks just because they add a layer of hydration. It's just really like a lightweight moisturizer, you know? It's not going to make your makeup last longer by any means, but that's not my problem. My problem is hydration, so I like this a lot just to prep for makeup. So if you have dry skin, I highly recommend this. And they're so affordable, so nice, so many flavors. Now of all the complexion products, you know, base wise, I don't think ColourPop does the best job, but my favorite foundation from them is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. I also like their Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer. That's awesome for the summer. I'm just not using it today because I want more coverage, but I do really recommend that as well. Just for like a cheap tinted moisturizer. Now this shade, by the way, is Medium 85N. Not my shade right now. It's fine, we will make it work. This is a really generally nice foundation. It feels pretty lightweight on the skin. It looks really smooth. It's one of the better ones on the affordable end of makeup. So really great time to pick it up if you've been interested for 30% off. I think that makes it like $11. I would say ColourPop quality in general. It's not as good as high-end makeup. Some products are. But for the most part, not as good as high-end makeup, but better than most drugstore items. So it's like bridges right in between drugstore and high-end quality. And for the most part, they have pretty drugstore products. So can't be that. I'm just going to do a light layer of this. Look, it just looks nice and healthy. No complaints here. I don't know. I feel like now that I'm full-time, I've been making my videos so long. And editing me hates myself. Myself. 
<laughs> when I film, I'm like, oh, let's hang out. And then when I'm editing, I'm like, why do I talk so much? Seriously, why do I talk so much? I do eyebrows next. This is just the order that I do things. I've talked about this plenty of times on my channel. I think that the Brow Boss is a really great affordable eyebrow pencil. There are a lot of fabulous eyebrow pencils out there though. I really like e.l.f.s a lot also. I think drugstore wise, e.l.f. and ColourPop have my favorite eyebrow pencils. Also ignore the fact that my eyebrows look very different. It will look different until I woman up and schedule an appointment to get my eyebrows professionally done, but it's been freeing. I used to pay a lot of money to get my eyebrows done every three to four weeks, and I haven't gone in a year and a half, and I like not having to pay for it, but considering that this is my job, I probably should start paying better attention to my eyebrows. This is a newer product from ColourPop. This is their Feather Effect Styling Wax. It's not brand new, but it's newer. I haven't used this in a hot minute, so let's use it. But an OG that I really love is their Brow Boss Gel. I think it's awesome, but this hasn't gotten a lot of love from me, so I'm gonna use it. I really don't like these styling waxes though. I'm not that big of a fan because I don't like the feather brow look on myself. <laughs> I feel like I look like a crazy person. Some people look so good with the feather brow. I'm like, wow, you look, you have supermodel brows. And then I do it, like I look electrocuted. <laughs> and clean this off. Just like that. That's the best they're gonna get. We're gonna leave it at that. Um, I'm mixing two concealers. I like to mix both of their formulas. So the Pretty Fresh Concealer. This is the Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. Really hydrating under the eyes, but doesn't wear the best. Doesn't cover the best. But feels really nice and hydrating. So I like to counteract that with their more pigmented more mattifying concealer, which is their no filter concealer. This is their OG concealer. Also a really lovely formula, but again, maybe a little bit too dry. So mixing them together, it's the best of both worlds. That's normally how I would like to do it. I never ever forget to cover right in this area, that inner corner part, because that's the part that can make you look the most tired. Get a little bit of the leftover in the center of your face so everything looks a little bit more cohesive and intentional. Boom, we're done with that. I'm lightly, very lightly gonna set with the no filter setting powder. I don't really recommend this. There's some better powders out there at a similar price point, but just to stay on theme, I'm using it today. The only bronzers that I have from ColourPop are these powder bronzers from a collection a long time ago. So we're gonna use the new e.l.f. one. Unrelated to this video, but I tried it for the first time yesterday. This is their putty bronzer in the shade tan lines. I'm gonna try it with a brush today. I used a sponge yesterday. I liked it a lot yesterday. I'm gonna have to play with the other colors that I have because I feel like this one doesn't show up the best, but that also makes it really easy to work with. So I probably could have gone a shade deeper, but at the same time, I still like how subtle this is. But I think I really like this. I think it's nice. It did just remove my the foundation right here at the top of my forehead though, which was weird. It didn't happen anywhere else. See how that added just like a really nice light bronze. I do think it looks a little bit greasy on the skin. Nothing bad, but that, you know, I'm super picky and point out everything to you guys. So that's just what I see. Okay, guys, it is time to get into the Cherry Crush collection. I have all my little information on this cute cherry card. So one thing that I never thought I would like, but now I love them, are the hand mirrors that come out with the collection. I used to not be interested at all. And then I started using them in my makeup kit and clients just jump for joy at how cute they are. So we have a cute little cherry one. This one's not as cute as some of the others, but adorable. I'm gonna be using that for close-ups today. So there are some new formulas here that I'm excited about. I have never tried their serum blushes. So this collection, or at least what I was sent, has two serum blushes. They come in this adorable packaging. So these are called Cheek Dews. And we have two shades. One is a little bit more of a pinky watermelon color, and the next one is more of a red color. Cherish You is more of that watermelon color. Ooh, these are very gel-like feel pretty pigmented. We're gonna do Sour Cherry now, which is a little bit more red. Which looks like this. Sorry, the sun just came out, so I got lighter. We're gonna do one on each cheek. I'm gonna use my BK Beauty 106. We're starting off with Cherish You. These have quite a lot of pigment, but I really like this style of application. Again, this is my first time using these, so I can't 
speak on application any other way but with a brush blend it out on the back of the hand I feel like this is the best method to go about it because it seems to have a lot of pigment so we're gonna move on to sour cherry I did wipe off my brush in case you missed it they look very similar on the cheek I don't think you need both yeah you definitely don't need both because they look really close on the cheek but I think I like this formula um actually this always happens let me turn the light down a little bit. So I don't know if you can see. I don't like when this happens, but you can see the break from the concealer powder and then where the blush is. So maybe I don't like these as much. I'm going to have to continue playing with these. I'm not sure yet. I loved the way they applied, but they aren't sitting the best. I'm going to try and kind of blend that out a bit to make it look a little bit more seamless. Not too sure yet. Quickly gonna pop on a highlighter. This is one that I recommend during the sale if you can get a hold of. This is from the Barbie collection with ColourPop. This is the Super Shock Shadow and Beach Party. A highlight did not come out with this collection and I don't even know that this is gonna go with what we're doing, but it's okay because I really love this. This is like one of, it's their Super Shock formula. Oh, what is happening? This has not happened to me yet. Oh no, is it gonna be one of those makeup days? Let me use a sponge. Normally it works good with a brush. But it's acting weird over that serum blush. It's definitely stuck to the gel-like serum blush, I guess, cause it's more sticky. So I have to go in with a sponge. I don't know about those blushes, you guys, but on any other occasion, this has been a beautiful highlighter. So I really like it. How pretty that looks when it's applied with a sponge. Okay, I think really the main focus of this collection are eyes. We have a lot of eye products. So we're gonna go into everybody's favorite part, the eyeshadow palette. It's one of their 9 p.m. palettes with a really cute cherry packaging. ColourPop does it best and we have get this thing out of the way these reddish pinkish tones i really like how this is laid out you have more pinky tones more red tones and more plum tones so i'm gonna do one eye off camera and then i'll be back and we'll do this eye together okay so i really like this look that we have oh my goodness man i didn't realize this was so unblended looking well anyways i like this look i don't think i've created a look like this so this one's really really cool now one one thing I don't like, I was looking for a brighter color. They don't have anything too light just to add like a highlight or a pop shade, but you know, that's okay. Beggars can't be choosers. Starting off with an Isom B34. We are using Cerise right here. Honestly, this brush is a bit large. It would be different if this shade was a little bit more neutral, but I definitely brought this pink up <laughs> way too high on the other eye. I'm gonna see if I can keep it low. You gotta be careful with a shade like this because it could pull like pink eye or an eye infection. But I want this to be the background shade for the look. And we're gonna layer basically every single eyeshadow that we're using along the lower lash line. So just be prepared for that. See, it's just like a light layer, blended out really nice, was easy to control, I like this a lot. Luxie at 229, we're taking the plum shade. I love the plum row that they added in this palette. It's a bit unexpected. I mean, I guess if you think about it, there are like plum cherries. I don't know, just wasn't expecting that. And I really like it. I think this is a very complimentary plummy color to the cherry colors that they've added. So this is a halo eye. So you do want to build that depth up in the inner corner as well. And we'll go out and blend it in a second. But I do want to take that shade. This is a refer 21. No, this is a refer 12 brush. Again, we're layering it right over top. And we're going to take some time. Blend her out. And we can come back. This look is really easy, you guys. Taking the refer 12 brush, we're going into Juicy Juicy now. I'm just a juicy. And this is going all along the lower lash line. It's adding that warm element in here of red. I love it down here. All right. And I'm just going to use my good old finger. And you see we have the red pop in the center of the lid, so I'm using Very Cherry. And this is a very nice quality shimmer. It's not too reflective, but sometimes I think with the ColourPop shimmers is they don't stick to the lid the best. This is sticking to my lid just fine, completely mess free. I love the red cherry pop that it adds. Kind of look like a vampire right now. And then we're gonna go in back 
with that plum shade just because I love the way that these two blend together. We're going into Sweet Like now, and this is going to add a little bit more dimension to our lid. This is the most reflective shade in the palette. It's the only one of this formula. The rest are kind of more flat shimmers. This one actually has some glittery kind of reflex. So I just put that right in the center of the lid, and I'm going to go in and quickly do some last minute touch-ups that I think I need to do. Ooh, guys, I really like this. I mean, I wasn't super in love with the color story when I saw it, but I really like this look. Eyeliners, there are three eyeliners in the collection. We have two cream gel liners, which are my favorite, which I think you need to stock up on for this sale because just get all the crazy colors that you can get because they make really fun accents to a look. And then there also is a liquid liner in the shade white. That's this white line on my hand right here. I'm not creative enough for the white. I'm sure I could do a white line, but I'm not going to. Or maybe like some white dots. You can draw cherries with the white. You can do a lot of fun stuff. Not my skill set, not what I prefer, so I'm not going to. But there are two eyeliners. We have a cherry pie eyeliner with cute little cherries and Jubilee, which is a nice hot pink. I'm feeling the red. We're gonna do cherry pie because I think it will bring out the center lid color. Also might make me look like I have an eye infection, but I'm a fan still. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love these colors, how fun. Okay, I'm gonna do eyeliner, like a black line, some mascara and lashes, and then we'll be back to finish with the lip product in this collection. All right, lashes are on. I did like the most thinnest of thin black eyeliner and I used Coco lashes in the style Gigi. I don't really recommend these lashes, but so cute. I actually really like this look. I did not expect to like it so much. We are going to use the last product in this collection. Never tried this formula before. These are called Glossy Lip Stains. Should I wear a lip liner? Let me do that. I feel uncomfortable without lip liner. We're gonna use ColourPop Osis. Just like, I don't know if this is the best color. Lip liners, by the way, are another thing that you should get during the sale because they have the best, most affordable lip liners. Gonna take my finger, blend it out. I don't know why I went for like a pure orange color, but whatever. So there are two colors of these. There's Double Cherry, which is more red, and then Love Bite, which is more pinky. Let's see. Something just snapped when I opened this. Okay, that's not supposed to happen. See. Okay, here we go. I fixed it. Okay, so I want you to see the texture of this. So it definitely looks like a lip stain. So that one, by the way, was Love Bite. This packaging on the cap feels weird to me. Okay, Double Cherry is more red. We're gonna do Love Bite. I've been doing a lot of bold eyes with bold lips lately. <laughs> okay, here we go. A glossy lip stain. Feels like a stain. I wouldn't necessarily say that it's glossy. Ooh, cool. Let me clean this off. I don't own a lot of lip stains in my collection, so I'm really liking these. Okay, I'm gonna get myself together and I'll be back. Okay, here is the final look. Honestly, I had a lot more fun with this collection than I thought it was going to. I don't know, man. I, I liked it. It's like definitely not something that any of us <laughs> needed, but... It's fun. It's time to take a gander over to the ColourPop website. You guys seem to like my last Shop With Me portion, so I'm gonna squeeze it into here. All right, so the Cherry Crush Collection launched today, and oh my goodness, their website is so cute. Look, the cursor is a cherry. Whoever their web designer is, fabulous job. They always do an amazing job with every collection, but you guys can see 30% off site-wide introducing the new Cherry Crush collection. So I wanna look at the previous collabs and collections. So let's do, I guess collabs, right? So Hello Kitty Fruits, I got a few questions about this because you guys know I'm obsessed. What? Okay, maybe, where is it? Tropical Escape. Okay, here it is. So I got a lot of questions about this because you guys know I'm obsessed with Hello Kitty. I do have it. I haven't tried it yet. It just came in a slur of other packages and I haven't had the opportunity to play. But it's a cute collection and if you're interested now is a good time to get it because 30% off. You can get the whole collection for $60. That's crazy. The blushes are beautiful. I love ColourPop blushes. Yeah, so I haven't tried this collection yet but it's a brand new collection and it's already on sale so... 
Taking a look though, I do want to show you this collection so you can take a look at the prices. Yeah, you can get the whole collection of everything I just showed you for $42. I think the eyeshadow palette only $9.80. The eyeliners, wow. They have a bunch of different sets. Ooh, my favorite going coconuts. Don't know where that came from. And I've been raving about the Malibu Barbie palette. It was in my summer favorites palette, and I have a reel coming very soon if it's not up already. This was an expensive palette, $25 for ColourPop, but you can get it for $17.50, which is nice. This is a new one from ColourPop, which is one of their prettier ones that they've launched in a while, this Lush Life palette. 12 bucks. I did not get that in the mail. I'm actually considering purchasing that, and I still want this palette, the Child palette. I'm not going to but I, I really, really like it. The New Year Golden Palettes, $23 for all of those shades. And this is what I was talking about in complexion. There are two complexion products that I like from ColourPop. This foundation, which I use today, $11.20, but for the summer and for something really lightweight, I do enjoy the Tinted Moisturizer, $9.80. That's a good deal, $4.90 for the concealer. I don't know how ColourPop does it. Let's look at their other collabs. Let's see. I did not get the Lizzie McGuire collection. I'm kind of regretting it and I'm thinking <laughs> this might be the time to pick it up because it is so cute. Even if I just get the palette for the nostalgia of it all because I did watch Lizzie McGuire. Colourpop knows who their audience is. Let me just say that. They do a good job of targeting us. Yeah, the palette would be $15. I don't like glitters though, but wow. I guess the whole collection is still sold out, which is unfortunate because you could get it for $77. I think, you know, if you are going to purchase from this collect or from this sale, go for the collections first if there's anything that you've been wanting. I did not care for the Bambi collection. I never had an attachment to the Bambi collection, but maybe if you really do like Bambi, you might enjoy that. Mulan, this is one of my favorite collections ever from ColourPop. <gasps> they only have the blush, which this blush is really beautiful, but I really did love that collection. Totally biased though, because I was an Asian girl growing up, so <laughs> I love Mulan. If you were an Asian girl, you loved Mulan. Wow, they have a lot of the older collections on here. I didn't, I'm, I'm not into Frozen, so I never got anything from there. Sailor Moon, Animal Crossing. Oh, so cute. Okay, I don't need anything, but collections are really awesome. As far as just like the regular products that I would recommend to you, I'm going to more so push you towards the fun collections, but I've shared my complexion pieces that are my favorite. Super Shock highlighters are really nice. Let me look at their bronzers. I don't really recommend these serum blushes from what I can tell. I would like to get another bronzer from ColourPop because I only have like one powder bronzer. But I don't even see bronzers. So that's so weird that ColourPop has all of these options, but they don't really have bronzers. They have these cheek palettes. I don't have these. These look really cute. Where are the bronzers at? They have a panned bronzer. I have this. This is the one I was talking about, Coconut Beach. It's okay. I guess ColourPop just does not like making bronzers, but I would love to have bronzers because I feel like I can't do a full face without them. They have really stopped making their lipsticks. I mean, I know they just came out with the Barbie lipsticks, but they stopped including them in their collections. I really like their lipsticks. I think they are fabulous for the price, and these Barbie sets I do recommend. They are super fun. Mm, stock up on their lip glosses. I do really like their lip gloss formula as well. This did not really stain yet, like it hasn't set down. It's still coming off on my finger. Lip liners though, that's something that I think if you are in need of lip liners, stock up from ColourPop, $4.20 each. They're really creamy. They're, the packaging is not the best. I find that the lip part, that the stick part kind of comes out or it like pushes to the bottom, but they're really good. Like this, this Lippy Vault, I bought that. It's amazing. Oh, it's out of stock. Never mind. I don't know. ColourPop needs to take things off of their website because they just leave it there. Is there any eyeshadow palettes that I need? No. These just came out. I got these in the mail like three days ago from ColourPop, the High Tide and Fine Feather. They're really cute. I haven't used them yet, but they're brand new. Ugh, my favorite palette ever from ColourPop. I think it's this one. 1260, Love Sweet Talk, that's an older one. Off Melrose is great. 
This is a time to get the ColourPop palettes that you've been wanting. Very cool. And then I mentioned this, but a reminder, eyeliner, get your eyeliners, especially the fun cream gel liners for fun colors. You can see how it really did add an extra element to my makeup. I'm just saying. Don't get their false lashes. Don't like, I don't like their false lashes. I have their color sticks. I need to play with them because I've only used them once. They're still selling these. They, for a while, do you remember when they had those glitter shadows that were like the Stila's? Those did not go over well because apparently they took them off a long time ago, but I've never tried their jelly shadows. Those look super cute. Ugh. And you know what? At the end of the day, you still cannot beat their Super Shock shadows. They are just the best lid colors ever. They're so cheap. I mean, you can get them at Ulta too. They're just amazing. Anyways, just wanted to let you guys know about the sale. Kind of skim through the website with you guys. I'm gonna stay strong. I'm not gonna get anything. It's up to you if you think you need anything. You guys know ColourPop is constantly coming out with new items. And if there's something recently that came into stock or collection that came out, I mean, now's a good time to pick it up. But I'm gonna end the video here. That's all I have for today. I hope you found it helpful. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.